everybody. How y'all doing today? Ah, uh, this road has no name, number. Just here. And not sure about the pink ribbons everywhere, but it looked like a little climbing challenge. So I thought I'd come up here and see what was up here. Said it's not a through road. No, I'm not taking the easiest route. I'm not sure the orange paint is the boundary line for cutting. That's what the sign said, whatever, whatever that is. I've never been up here. I've been by this and by this. I can't tell you how many times. Can't see, can't say that there's anybody up here, but you're right off the side of 206. Looks like it uh, ends right there, kind of, at a campsite. And I believe it probably doesn't go very far back this way. Maybe. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. I don't really have the urge to go over there today, but we can kind of scout out and see. That's a nice little campsite right there. If you're looking for a quick one. Good afternoon, everybody. How y'all doing today? January the 5th. I think it's a Friday. Back down here at Land Between the Lakes, just out riding around, gonna spend the night more than likely. Hadn't really planned on doing any adventuring around at all today. I've got a couple of spots in mind, actually three. Just in case somebody else decided to come out and camp when it's gonna be I think it's supposed to get about 35 tonight with rain. So I'm not looking for a place, and I hadn't picked out a place that's too difficult to get out of, or might have trouble with, uh, with wind. Anyhow, back over here on this little road, uh, I put a little bit on the GoPro coming up the hill. It's a little rocky. Just thought I'd come back here for a ways. I've never been back here. I've been by that little road since like 1982. And I've never been up here. Big old woodpeckers. <coughs> Just kind of goes to show you <laughs> that uh, there's, there's a lot of entertainment to be had down here. If you just want to get out and get it. And I'm trying to. Trying to. Got a dispersed pass for this year, so I'll be down as much as possible. As often as I can. Next week, supposed to uh, maybe have a little snow. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. I think here for a few more minutes, though, I'm going to follow these uh, pink stripes. Maybe you may be able to see on that tree over there. I oh, can't roll the window down. Yeah. Uh, orange. Two orange slashes. And they seem to kind of coincide with this road. So it kind of makes me wonder if they're going to open this up. Does this run to a power line cut? I'm not sure. I haven't looked at the map. This is not where I was going to come to. All right, let me get fired up and uh, go back here in the woods a little ways. Just look around. Thanks for coming. Uh, it's uh, It may be 40 degrees right now. I don't think it's hardly as warm as they said it was going to get today uh, yet. And we ain't got far to go before it's going to start falling tonight. But rain coming in, yeah, there's no telling. We might accidentally get a little snow on the back side of it.
I got my chains. Squirrel. Didn't hardly turn my camera on soon enough. I'm only about 50, 75 feet <laughs> back in the woods. And yeah, the, uh, the orange with the pink, you can see. Looks like they might be going to come back here and clean things out, clear through, pull a few out, make the road a little wider. Yeah. Couple of trees down. Looks like we're at a, another turn here. I don't think we need to go through that mud hole, do we? Not really. So we've got some pine trees up here, though. It's cool. I'll have to take a gander on the map, see if I can uh, identify a field somewhere. You know what, I think I've identified uh, the end of the road. Doesn't go to the right, doesn't go to the left, and these tracks go right off this way, but... Huh. Yeah, this is a backup. This is a backup. And you're right down in the, uh, at the end, not bad. I think I'm going to stop here for a minute or two and see what it looks like. Now this spot here being the end of the road. Ooh, it's a little brisk. I should have probably put a jacket on. Uh, I can see one more pink ribbon down there. But as you can see right here, it's just a path. It's a path right there if you want to walk down there. This is not a not a bad spot at all. Fire pit right over there, kind of beside the truck. It's a little bit windy, kind of up, not not up on top of the ridge completely, but a little windy. And I don't think there would be any issue of getting out of here if it rained. But I don't think I'm going to stay here. decent fire pit. I don't know what the road is, <coughs> excuse me, what the road's like out here on Friday and Saturday night. And if you go right back that way, the road kind of leads up through the woods to the right, but right back that way is the trace. I mean the trace. Yep, I'm at the right spot. 206. Now I'm camped far enough away from 206 here. However, uh, you may not be able to hear it, but I can hear vehicles. They're logging, and I know where this spot is. And I know as of, I don't know, 1 30, there ain't nobody here. Been a day or two. A couple of pieces of cut firewood there. Looks like a fella could get a Get a handful of firewood together. Nothing too dramatic for the wind to get a hold of. These trees are pretty good size, but they're they're healthy. So I think for right now, I'm going to ride and go ahead and check out the uh, my first choice. It's not too much further up the road, and if not. I'll come back to the end of this road. When I turn and go down that hill, I'm right back on the trace in less than an eighth of a mile. But right up here at the top of the hill, if one wanted to, there's a nice little campsite with a fire pit. Okay. Already. Start off the hill right past the uh, campsite. Very nice spot. You, know, you can't see down through the woods, but 206 is right there. I just thought I'd try to make this a fun little ride down. 
take a wee different path. See how the old suspension reaches out and grabs the ground. A couple of big old rocks down through here. Never, well, every time I've come down here, generally had somewhere else in mind and haven't been too adventurous. But now that I'm getting out and getting a little more adventurous, I'm going to take more of these little roads. So I see absolutely no markings nowhere for a number on this one. But you can kind of see just come around the corner and pop out of the woods. Okay, I decided to come up 396. This was one of my alternatives, but like third. <coughs> I think I've been back here. I'm not 100% sure. We're going to find out here in just a minute. There is a place to camp right there, however. Maybe it looks like... Yeah, it's been camped before. Okay, not sure what that pile of firewood stuff was for. I thought I'd come ahead down down here since this one is first. And I think this is where I decided not to go any further. However, today it looks like it's plenty doable. It looks like it's plenty, plenty doable. I think I'm going to go to the next. I don't want to have to, uh, just in case we get an inch of rain, which we're not supposed to get, but half to three quarter maybe. I don't want to get stuck. This might be a good road to do that on. I don't know. I will make an effort. 396. We'll go past the mud holes. It's not like I don't think the forerunner will go down through there. No, oh, it will. No, no issues there. Like I said, I don't know what's on down any further than that. So I'm not going to go down there today. Like I said, it's on the list. This is just another one. Uh, I have been to right here and met a guy coming out in a Jeep, and it was muddy as hell, and I was in a 77 Pontiac Catalina. I did not go any further than right here. But as you, well, maybe you can see, maybe not, I don't know. It's campsite right there. But I'm going to go on down to the next one, knowing there again that this one's here empty. I think we'll be all right. Well, boys and girls. I got back on uh, 206, and I'm coming to one of my favorite spots, Byard Bay. We've been down here several times before. The last time I came down here to camp, uh, there was already somebody down here. It's washed out a little bit. <clears throat> but I'm not afraid of getting out of here uh, after a rain. I'll watch my mirror. So we'll mosey on down the hill here and uh, see if there's anybody at the bottom. If there's not, we're going to hang out for a while. See what the wind's doing, what direction it's trying to come from. Maybe break the uh, NOAA radio out. It's not going to be much of a storm, I don't think. Like thunder lightning wise. That's later to come, maybe. I don't know. I think there's a, uh, enough of a rock base. Even if there's running water going down through here, we can come out.
Well, it looks like Byard Bay for the win. Quiet. Kind of like the rest of them. A little bit of trash spread here and there. I brought cousin Craig down here. Cuz Trevor. They enjoyed the place. And I have several nights. Uh, one of the first places I camped. Like uh, 2016. Wind is not bad right now. You can see it moving the water a wee bit. And if my compass didn't lie to me, I think right about that way would be north. Storm's supposed to come in from the west, so I think I'll be okay. I could come out here and park on the beach, couldn't I? Water's way out. It's been out far enough now. The sun's been here and kind of baked the old mud. It don't smell as bad as it did a month or so ago. Not going to be a whole lot of walking around, hanging out. It's mostly the theme for today. Yeah, I'm going to level the truck up a little better than that. I think I'm just a little bit too far downhill. If you guys uh, have ever been in and around one of these things, the uh, sleeping arrangement kind of winds up being downhill a little bit, so the front of the truck down is not a bad thing. And if I do have a fire, I'll just have a small one. Maybe later on. I'm guessing it's about 3 o'clock. And uh, yeah, right there all the way off into the into the creek kind of like creek that's right there the hogs have been rooting down here i don't know i've just i've never been anywhere where they've been uh close to me rooting down here so we'll see i think it's going to be close to 20 something tonight so see if they like the cool weather well, whether you can see me or not, a little bit, can't get in my packet. Oh. So turn this one out. Doesn't make no difference, does it? <laughs> I look a little red. <coughs> I got the candle lantern going down there in the corner. Ooh. 60 degrees even in here, and uh, I believe it to be 40 outside. The weather confirmed rain is on the way and I confirmed rain was on the way just uh, about 20 minutes ago when I stepped outside and it was kind of raining just a sprinkle but it is on the way you can't really tell out the window there too much but uh, the front come across there a little while ago it is this way 430 did I say that I think it's 4.30, going on 5. So quiet, I haven't seen anything but some birds. They've been all over out here working. I couldn't really tell. It didn't hold still long enough for me to uh, get a really good look. It wasn't big enough for an eagle, but it was definitely a hawk. <coughs> I think we got those ospreys down here. I don't know, he was maybe... 10 inches tall, 12 inches tall. And there's probably two dozen right out here now just hopping through the leaves and picking around. Trying to get a meal in before the weather gets bad. Can't say I to blame them. At least I got a place to get in out of the weather, huh?
Not bad. If we get a little snow next week, I'm going to have to get back out. Depends on how much we get. If it's just going to be a dusting, I don't, uh, I don't think there's any need to come out and mess around. But we could get a substantial amount tonight, I guess. I, three quarter to an inch now is what they're saying. So it may or may not be much. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, I've just been lazing back. I got my down out for the night. The weather said it's only going to be in the mid 30s tonight. So that won't be too bad. Not too bad at all. With the weather going to be like it is, I don't suspect too many critters will be out moving around. So I was kind of wondering if I'd see a deer down here. I've been here now for uh, about three hours, four, almost four hours. So I've kind of settled in. I haven't been out moving around much. I walked down to the water there once, looking around. A little cool. But I can see that the wind is changed direction very little of it right now but still it feels good at 60 degrees in here though <laughs> no doubt about that <sighs> awesome quiet day nice little ride the little side roads are pretty good there I hadn't been back uh, which one was that Well, I don't think I really need to go. Whoa, what was that? What number was that one? I'll have to look at the map on that one for sure. 396 is one I want to go to the end of, but it's got a couple of gatekeeper water holes at the front. It don't look too bad right now. It's passable, but I'm not sure what's on behind that. That's why I didn't go on down there today. The other one I cannot think of. Uh, oh, 394. 394 off of 206. That one's kind of rough. <laughs> It'll be an adventure some morning. Get down, get out, get out early and take a ride by there and just see if you can climb the hill. It's pretty much all it is, I think. And now that they've got the big trees out of the way on 395, I'll be going back there. I almost went back over there today. I, I, you know, I like this spot. But I did not come armed well enough to take the garbage out of here. It's a big spot, so it, it really doesn't, uh, really doesn't show the accumulation, but you got blue barrel tops. The barrel used to be down here. And I don't know what that big piece of plastic is. It kind of looks like a kid's playhouse, part of a kid's playhouse. Multiple papers, multiple piles of papers, I should say. But well, maybe we'll get on a drive and uh, get together with some jeeping club or something if they'll let an old forerunner in. It's about time for an evening pipe load. That afternoon pipe's just about gone. So just hanging out, staying kind of warm. Feels good, actually. Feels real good. Sweatshirt. Sweatshirt weather right now for me. I'm not acclimated well for the winter just yet. Thanks for sticking around. Good morning, everybody. I, I don't really know. 7.30, 8 o'clock, 9. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I've been up since uh, a little before the sun come up. Doing pretty much just exactly this. Right here. So peaceful. Watching her come to life. 
all the little birdies back out this morning getting them an early snack. I think most of the rain's probably over with for now. Probably again this afternoon. And yeah, I keep looking out here. He and or she leave it to be a red hawk, red tail. Sitting right over there on the edge of the water, just taking in the morning. Been there for a pretty good while. Of course, I've been right here for a pretty good while. I had me some breakfast, had some oatmeal. It's pretty good. Got my feet under the sleeping bag, keeping them toasty. At some 52 in here. Uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 38, 39 outside. I don't know. It was 36 when I got up. No critters last night that I know of, and I left you hanging again, didn't I? <laughs> I got a nice warm belly full of dinner, and uh, it didn't take long. I was asleep. Woke up at some point in time, made a head call, and thought about you guys, but uh, come back in, went right back to sleep. I didn't really expect anybody down here last night. Temperature, weather. You know, nobody else goes camping knowing it's going to pour down rain. Well, generally, some people do. <clears throat> Just try not to get off in a spot you can't get out of. It does rain a lot more than they say. I'd rather that not happen. Gonna be a little bit overcast all day today, I guess. I got a couple of things I need to do at the house. Been putting off a couple of windows that need plastic. We're gonna get some colder weather and some wind. And yeah, I keep looking, it just flew off. <laughs> that way. Over the trees. <coughs> I have seen eagles down here. It's been a while. Of course, I haven't been down here camped in a while, you know, more than just to come down and hang out. And uh, Somewhere along the way, I have made a video going up this hill talking about it um, probably close to a year ago now. Um, it's a good spot for, it was a good spot for me to come, still is, you know, as long as they don't fix the road. You can make it pretty difficult on yourself going out. Well, coming down also. You know, and it's not all that steep, but it's a good practice zone for me. Rather than going to Turkey Bay and paying the fee, they ought to let us old dudes in for free anyway. Don't you think? Jeez. I'd like to have a head count as to how many 66-year-olds is out here this morning. Anywhere. <laughs> you know. Besides snuggle up in a campground with your old lady in the trailer. No, that, that don't count. I'm sorry. That just don't count. Trail cruising and camping. That's what we do. I'll try to be a little bit more on the ball in 2024. About getting my videos out. Get everything squared away and just take my time. It looks like he got in the mood to go across, or one of them did. Beautiful spot. Is that out here camping? Get out here, folks. If anybody watching this is in doubt about it, yeah. All I can say is get some stuff together and get out here. Give it a try. If you get cold, fire up and go home. Well, don't be a sis about it. You don't have to stay out here and suffer. Nobody's asking you to. But if you don't get out here and do it, you don't know whether you can or not. And to keep going at some point in time in your life is pretty important. You must try to keep up some of the momentum anyway. Well, I'm wanting to talk about keeping up the momentum. <laughs> yeah. 
right here. This is where it's at, man. I'm going to try to get out till I can't. I had a few waterfowl, ducks, I guess, early this morning. And I guess it was a couple of hours ago, just as the just as it was getting light. Shotguns. So somebody's down here hunting. I seen two or three cars on the way in, but I'm not sure what they were hunting for. Or if they were hunting or just park on the side of the road and walk off in the woods and look for stuff. I was told this area up here, these few bays, Higgins, I think is just south of here, Byard, and the next two or three bays up towards Turkey Creek, um, are really good for uh, arrowheads and, and uh, Indian artifacts. Let's just put it that way. <coughs> I was camping down here a bunch of years ago, like nine years ago. And a uh, gentleman and his grandson came down. The water was very much like it is now, very low, winter pool. Uh, close to it, I guess, by a 350, I think, was the uh, what I heard last night. I'm not sure. Close to that anyways, winter pool. They, uh, they took off and went that way for a while and came back by and had them a sandwich and a soda. Took off and went the other way for a while, and uh, when they came back, we talked for a few minutes. They found quite a few, uh, mostly broken pieces, but a couple of nice looking points, uh, arrowheads themselves, and I believe Grandpa found a hatchet, not sure. Hatchet some kind, it was sharpened on one edge, it had been uh, flint napped off on one edge. Looked good, that was a nice piece. Folks, I think I'm going to just enjoy this for a few more minutes and fire up and mosey my way on out of here. I don't think it's going to be. It, yeah, all the leaves are wet, but uh, how much of a soaking rain it was, I don't know. It rained a pretty good while last night. We'll see. I don't think it's going to be slick, but your normal... Uh, Highway car wouldn't wouldn't do well coming out of here this morning. Probably make it, but it wouldn't be easy on it. Just ground clearance. If you're not a foot off the ground, you you're gonna have issues. Starts out really nice though. There's not much of a gatekeeper to this road. A couple of little mud holes, but they stay there year round. Black water just don't drive through them. There's enough room to go around. If you folks are not familiar with driving through black water, if it ain't been stirred up in a while, you stir that mud up, you're going to have to wash your truck pretty soon in the river or somewhere because it's going to stink. Of what? I'm not sure what that chemical would be. <laughs> First Camp 2024. Wow. A rain camp. Kind of cool. 36 is not frigid, especially not in here. It didn't get down to like 40 degrees in here. Plenty of covers, plenty of mattress under me. I, I had no cold issue at all, except when I had to go outside. Once again, everybody, thanks for coming with me on this camp, and I hope to have a bunch more this year. Overnighters, two or three nighters. Here again, we're just going to see what happens, folks. Till next time, everybody. Just waiting for the next big adventure. Thank you.